Prayer is giving up your plans. Amen. And fasting is giving up your power. When you pray, what you're saying is, you're saying, our Father who art in heaven, let your name be kept holy by the way that we live. Your kingdom come into my life on earth as it is in heaven. What you say when you're doing that, we're talking about Mark or the book of Luke when Jesus goes to the Lord's prayer. That prayer is a model prayer. It's not a prayer that we're supposed to recite over and over again, even, even though that is cool and that's cute. It's a model prayer, meaning it's guidelines on how to pray. You start your, you start your prayer by saying, God, you're holy, I'm not. You're on a whole nother level. Yes, I know that you see me as holy because Jesus' justification uh, through the resurrection and the death and, and salvation of my soul has made me holy in your eyes. But when it comes down to the nitty gritty, I'm a sinful person. You are holy. Yeah. And what I want to do is I want your kingdom to come into my life the way that your kingdom exists in heaven, the way that your kingdom exists, exists on this earth. I want that to be true in my life. And what you're saying is, God, I'm giving up my plans. You have plans for your kingdom. I have plans for my life. As I pray, I want to give up those plans because your thoughts are not my thoughts. Your ways are not my, way, my ways. Because your ways and your thoughts and your plans are much higher than mine. By praying, you're giving up your plans. That's how you give up to get your glow up. The second way is by fasting. Fasting is giving up your power. The only power that we really have in this life is the decision to choose what we eat. <laughs> because everything else, everything else, you can drive in your car to the mailbox or you know, to the post office, to the beach or to the mall. Anything can happen. You really have no power. A semi truck can run you over. You have no power. You don't know if your boss is gonna call you right now and fire you. COVID, none of us saw that coming. We all had plans for 2020. 2020 vision, clear vision. We're going to do great this year. It's going to be, you know, it's my breakthrough year. It's my glow up year. All that happened. And then COVID knocked that out of the wall, hit that out of the sky, and we, we plummeted. So we don't have any power. The only really power we have is what we, need, what we want to put in our mouth. Ooh, donuts. Ooh, say what? And we can still choke on our Yeah, we can still choke on our food, right. The only power we have is to decide what we want to pleasure ourselves with. When we fast, what we're doing is we're giving up our power. We're saying, God, I give you my power. When we pray, we're saying, God, I give you my plans. Jesus says, you know, your translation in, eight, in, in Mark chapter 9, verse 29, it might say just prayer, but a lot of manuscripts leave out fasting. And I believe that was a plan by the devil. He said, let's see if we can put these uh, manuscripts of the Bible out there and leave out most of the manuscripts with the part that says fasting. Because you can't have two sides. So there's not one side of this equation. If you want to get the glow up, you got to give up your plans, give up your power. You got to get disciplined. You got to get devoted to God. Mm -hmm. You got to pray and you got to fast. And now you're saying, I know a lot of you are thinking, okay, I'm going to fast from Instagram. I'm going to fast from my phone. Negative. That's not fasting. That's not fasting. Mm -hmm. That's a good spiritual discipline. I mean, it's a good maybe spiritual discipline for your screen time, but that's not fasting. Every time you see the Bible, someone says, talk about fasting. Oh, I'm about to. I'm about to right now. Every time you see fasting in the Bible, it says food. Mm -hmm. They didn't have iPhones or TV or music back. I mean, they had music, but they didn't have uh, Spotify back then. So when the Bible's talking about fasting, it's not talking about giving up the stuff that we like, it's that we like to, you know, the activities that we like. It's talking about giving up food. Mm -hmm. Here's a couple examples. In the book of Samuel, David kills a man and steals his wife and gets her pregnant. A prophet says, dude, you blew it. I mean, you took a huge L right now, man. Like you lost it. And God says, because what you did was very sickening in the eyes of God, this baby's gonna get sick. As soon as David heard that, he broke down. King David started fasting because he heard that this baby was sick. He was mourning over the illness of his child. The baby ends up dying. And after that, his, uh, Someone says the Daniel fast. I'm going to get into that. After that, he stopped fasting. But he didn't eat food or water while his kid was sick. That's fasting. Giving up food, that's fasting. Another example, someone said the Daniel fast. The Daniel fast is only eating fruits and vegetables. So fasting doesn't mean that you only give up food. It may mean that you give up certain food. Now, we're not talking about, okay, I'm going to give up candy. No. There's, we don't see that in scripture. What we see is Daniel only eating fruits and vegetables. Now that's a fast. Mm -hmm. Giving up candy is, again, a good, 
uh, practice that your a good practice that your dentist probably wants you to do. <laughs> but only eating fruits and vegetables, you're like, oh yeah, I could do that. Fruits and veggies, no, no bread, no rice. You know, for all the Hawaiians here, you're like, oh my gosh, no rice, no rice, no sushi. Like, that's hard, guys. Giving up beef, right. That's a good practice that a lot of vegans and you know people might tell you to do. Think about the Daniel fast is only eating fruits and veggies because what he was trying to do is he was trying to show God, my attention is on you. That's what fasting is. Fasting is putting your attention on God and God putting his attention on you. He's already paying attention to us all the time. But what fasting does is it tells God that you're serious. It tells God that God, I intend to be intentional with my walk with you more than ever before by fasting. Amen.